So let me ask y'all a question. What does quicksand and riptides have in common? The more you fight against them when you get trapped, the harder it is to get out. And I'm going to tell you what, this past week has been an absolute nightmare as far as getting caught up in quicksand. As far as getting caught in a riptide and trying to fight my way out of it. Instead of, instead of accepting what it is, going with the flow, and then working my way out. And because I didn't do that, it cost me, it cost me this past week. So anyway, we're gonna talk about that for a second. I gotta I gotta run over here. I gotta I gotta go do something real quick. But when I come back, I'm gonna tell y'all all about it. First things first, uh, had a little situation with my eldest daughter, y'all know. Uh, she just had her first baby. And uh, without getting into all the medical details, she's back in the hospital. She started out one, now she's in another. So I appreciate all the prayers up on that. That has absolutely, um, be, because we're operating with one vehicle, uh, you know, I, I got to take her mom to where she's got to go, and I got to go where I got to. It's, it's just. It is what it is, so family first, remember that. Uh, the second thing, second thing, y'all know I was doing really good. <laughs> I was doing actually really good on uh, on my my Funded Futures account. Uh, remember, I passed the evaluation. I was in the simulated funded account, trying to work my way up to a payday, and the wheels just fell off. They just fell, and it was my fault again. You know, in life, it doesn't matter if you're trading, playing poker, driving Uber, uh, flipping hamburgers, whatever. You know, you mess with fire too much, you're going to get burned. That's the way it goes. Um, I was up on the account. I decided to chase it again. And if I just stick to my rules, stick to my rules, I'm unbeatable. Unbeatable. If I stick to my rules. And that goes for everything in life, man. You got to stick to your rules, whatever it is. Whatever we're talking about. Anyway, listen, I need to make some money today. Uh, I originally got in the car when it was 11-11. If y'all don't know, I made my, my little wish on 11-11. And we're going to go from there. Let's try to make some money. It's 11-25 on a Sunday afternoon. Dolphins are playing today locally. I won't be anywhere near it. They did win last week. You know, I think they're starting to, to realize without Tua, Dolphins ain't shit. And the defense is terrible. But whatever. Let's see what happens, y'all. Let's go make some money. Woo. All right, so before I head into the airport queue, because that's where we start on Sundays, I had to stop, get me some lunch real quick. Uh, I want to shout out Richie Hustles real quick because... You know, we both do the Amazon Influencer Program, and he is really heavy, heavy into it. Richie reviews it. Check him out on Amazon. Uh, he's also got uh, Richie Hustles and Richie Gaming, you know, two channels on YouTube, over 100,000 subs each. Listen, we, we got involved in this program they were doing, and, you know, it, it was, can't get into the specifics, but they wanted X amount of videos in a certain format on certain products at a, at a limited price. And so we did them. He did a ton of them, like 170 videos or something. I did, um, I did eight because I'm still new to the program and a little skeptical and, you know, with all the DEI bullshit or whatever, you know, you just, you just don't know. Anyway, uh, all my videos got denied originally like a month ago and he, he had like 10 approved, 20 approved, whatever it was. Well, we got an email, and the email said, hey, X amount of videos got approved for him, and then four of the eight that I did got approved. And so, you know, shout out Amazon. How often, when a company makes a mistake, they, do they come back and actually correct that mistake? Imagine that. They did it on their own. There was no YouTube show. There was no gurus, no nobody telling Amazon 
you know, calling them out for this, that, and the other. They just did it. Y'all say what you want about Amazon. And we ain't talking, I can't show you the money. It's not a lot of money. It's a little bit of money. But the fact is, is that they did it on their own. They didn't have to get forced to do it. In my opinion, that puts them a cut above. Absolutely puts them a cut above. Anyway, all right. I'm going to eat my little pizza here. By the way, y'all, I'm down to 212 pounds. Uh, we're going to go eat this pizza. We're going to drive to the lot. And we're going to get started. <laughs> I just got my first ride request. I took it. It's a garbage ride, $42 to West Palm. Be about 45 miles on comfort. But it gets me out of this lot and gets me started. Remember, today's goal is 200. That's what we're trying to hit. But by the way, bro, I just met somebody. My guy, Alejandro, out of Miami. He was up here. And we just sat and talked. And Mr. Ben came by. Uh, we were sitting here talking in the lot. Let me tell you something. There's some drivers out there. Don't sleep on drivers that's only been driving for a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them drivers can hit you to some shit you ain't seeing. Just because you're old school don't mean you know it all. That's all I'm saying. So uh, shout out to Alejandro. Has a Model Y. Owns his own. Does not rent nor lease. Owns his own. Uh, super nice guy though, bro. Super nice guy. Um, we switched out numbers. And then Mr. Ben showed up. Y'all know Ben. He was the guy who had the Model 3 through drive whip. Had a small accident, um, and, and it wasn't his fault. Drive with, set him up with a, a Model Y, and he's loving life in the Y now. So anyway, we're going to go in here. I got my first contract of the day, and that's right. It's called a contract. We'll talk about that after I drop off. Let's go get this money. All right, so we have completed a total of five ride contracts, three on Uber, and believe it or not, two on Lyft, two Lyft Blacks. They were uh, uh, very uh, short rides. I don't know, it's like $25, $27, whatever it is with them. I got 87 bucks on Uber, uh, plus another 10 in cash. So not too bad considering it's only 4.40 in the afternoon. Remember, we didn't start real early today. So we're gonna run with that. I'm gonna run over here. I am in Boca Raton, Boca Raton. I'm going to go to the mall over here. Why is he so low in the camera? I'm going to go to the mall over here, chill out for a minute, uh, rest, uh, get up, stretch my back, you know, do some push-ups, that kind of stuff. Yes, I still do push-ups, y'all. I might not look it. That's because I'm older than most of y'all, but I still do them. Still losing that weight. Still doing my thing. We are at $87 on Uber, $27 on Lyft. What is that? $114. Uh, you know the goal, two bills two bills we need two bills that's that there, there's no backing down we need the two bills well it's monday morning and um we finished with eight ride contracts with uber and only the two with lyft um it, we did break 200 we got the 186 with with uber uh and only had the 25 with lyft so what is that 86 uh, 106, 111, whatever it is, $10 cash tip. Anyway, you know, it, it's, <clears throat> it was not as busy last night on Sunday night as it has been the last month. And I'm looking this morning and it's odd because this morning I, I'm not seeing any surge. Usually Monday mornings, it is blood red out there. Plenty of surge, plenty of opportunity. Uh, this morning, I'm not seeing it. Just not seeing it. And now I, I realize it's Thanksgiving week, and we're starting a new vlog today, and I'm going to vlog every damn day. Every day, I'm going to vlog something. It might be two minutes, but I'm going to do it anyway. Anyway, the, uh, the it, it, it's travel week. So now you got to be smart in where you work and how you work. There's no schools, so you ain't got to worry about that kind of traffic. So now you got to position yourself either at the airport or rides going to the airport from the best areas. Here's a little side note. I don't know what market you're in, but economically challenged people ain't gonna be traveling uh, as much as those that got the money. So make sure you take your ass to where the money is 
if you want to make some money. That that's all I'm saying. That that's my little that's my little tidbit for you. If you didn't know, now you know. That's how I make things happen. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go in here this morning. We gotta look at the charts. Um, I am not gonna open up any new accounts yet uh, with my funded futures. I want to see what the Black Friday specials are, and guys. This is important. Doesn't matter what you're doing, but if you have to make a purchase on something like. I, I pay monthly for my trading view. Well, Black Friday, they got a 70% off on their biggest plan. It makes absolutely no sense not to obtain that big plan. I, I Can I afford it? Fuck no. Am I going to try to get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that's going to save me a 70% over the next year. And I ain't going nowhere. All right, man, listen, bro. We're going to make the trading work. It worked before. It can work again. Just got to stay with it. And then as far as like the prop firms are concerned, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on into the prop firms. We'll talk about that tomorrow morning on Coffee with Cuz, what prop firms are and, and some of the little things with that that I'm seeing. But, um, you know, I'm sure they're going to have Black Friday specials too. And so instead of just going with one evaluation, one starter kit with My Funded Futures, 50K starter kit, I'm going to go with three. And then we're going to work them because that's how you make the money on prop firms. You don't make it on one account. You make it on multiple accounts and copy trading and all this other stuff. So anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. But for right now, we're going to go home. We're going to look at the markets. <clears throat> I made some changes on some of my charts and how I'm looking at things. Um, not that there was anything wrong before. I just went on tilt last week, like straight up. I got, you know, all the problems I've already described. I got plenty of problems, y'all. It is what it is, right? And I'm fighting him, but I'm not going to get caught up in the quicksand of it. Uh, I'm not going to fight the riptide. You fight the tide, you fight the quicksand, you perish. That's just the way it is. You cannot beat quicksand. You cannot beat a riptide. You got to go with the flow and work your way out of it. And so that was the whole point of this video is no matter how bad it is, no matter how bad it is, and it can be pretty goddamn bad at times. And you got people coming at you from 38 different directions. Rightfully or wrongfully, it doesn't matter. You got to deal with that. But you got to deal with what's in front of you first. And so that's what we're doing. We're dealing with what's in front of us first. We are two months into this three-month challenge to not being dependent. So you know what December is, right? December is the shit or get off the pot. It's just the way it is. Burn the boats. If you don't know what burn the boats are... You need to go look it up. It's a great story. It actually happened historically. I think it was uh, Cortez, right? Fernando Cortez. Aztecs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was the Aztecs or the Incas. I don't remember. Anyway, Burn the Boats is coming up in December, and that's just the way it is. Maybe I'll title a video that way. All right. Anyway, y'all have a great day. Let's get out here and make some money. I'm telling you, I'm going to start my daily vlogs. It might be two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. Who the hell knows? Hope y'all tune in. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the comment button. Hit the goddamn like button. That's right. That's right.